Hi, it's Mo for DemoGirl.com. It's Thursday, April 22nd, 2010, and today we're going to check out Ad Tailey. Ad Tailey seems to make the process of selling ads on your website a breeze. First, you have to sign up for an account by entering in your email address and selecting a password. Now you want to enter in the name of the site where you want to sell ads. Here you'll enter in your website details like a title, a website type, and then you'll want to enter in a description and some tags. Add Tailey will then generate the HTML for the widget. You want to cut and paste that into your website. Once you've pasted it into your website, you want to click here. Now Add Tailey will tell you how much it will charge weekly for your website. You can change that if you want. Here's what the widget will look like on your website. Someone who wants to buy an ad just needs to click here. They want to enter in the advertisement link and then enter the ad text. They can choose the default or web style or they can upload their own banner. Right here they can choose how many days they want to purchase an ad for and they'll know exactly how much it's going to cost them. They can click here to check out via PayPal. If the seller rejects the ad, the money will be returned to them. Back at your Ad Tailey account, you'll see all of the websites you've added widgets to. Here you can edit a widget, and here you'll see how much you've earned for the month. If you need to edit your website information, click here. You can edit the description and tags. And here's when you can edit the price settings. You can charge more or less. It's up to you. Under advanced settings, you can turn off moderation if you'd like. You can make your site statistics public or private and change the type of website you have. Under campaigns, you'll see all of the ads that are pending or active on your site. Here's a pending ad for my site. They want to buy one day, which will cost $1.11. You can accept the campaign or reject it. Under active campaigns, you'd see any active ads for your website. And archived, you'd see any past campaigns. I'm going to go ahead and accept the pending campaign. But first, I need to link it up to my PayPal account so I can get paid. Once I've done that, I'll see the active campaign. Now I can go over to the website and see the ad. It was very easy to set up this ad. Now all I have to do is create a site that people will want to advertise on. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and remember to come back to DemoGirl.com.